What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Alolan Data Decks with me, the one integral. Now last episode we covered another Alolan form which is Muck and Ash, you guys, which fairy type we wanted to, be co to cover today. It was a choice between the Grass Fairy Shinotech and the Pure Fairy Comfy and Comfy won out so that's of course what we'll be covering today. But of course first we have to vote our next episode's Pokemon and it is going to be a battle between two of the Tapus, two of the guardian Pokemon of the Alolan region. We have first up Tapu Coco and then Tapu Lele. So if you'd like to see the electric fairy type Tapu Coco covered, comment down below saying Coco or Tapu Coco. And then if you want to see Tapu Lele covered down below, or covered, comment down below. Tapu Lele, which is the Psychic Fairy Guardian. So, whichever one won the most votes will be covered next episode, but let me know which one you want to see down below now. But for now, let's jump in into Comfy. Comfy is number 764 in the National Pokedex, is the Posey Picker Pokemon, and as I mentioned earlier, is a pure fairy type. It is only 4 inches or about 0.1 meters tall, so it's not a huge Pokemon, and it only weighs 0.7 pounds or 0.3 kilograms. It's in the grass breeding group only, and in terms of male-female split, it's 75% female and 25% male, so it makes a lot of sense, I suppose. Evolution-wise, there's no pre-evolution or further evolution for Comfy, it's simply on its own. Taking a look at its base stats, it's nothing that jumps out of you straight away. Its highest is Special Defense at 110, then its Speed at 100, and even further down Defense at 90, Special Attack at 82, and then Health Points and Attack at about 50 each. So obviously, Special Attacker if anything, but looking at its stats you'd think more of a defensive Pokemon with Defense and Special Defense, maybe even a supportive Pokemon thanks to its Speed. Ability-wise, there are three available here. The first is Flower Veil, which prevents any ally grass-type Pokemon's stats from being reduced. And it's okay, I suppose, in doubles, but it's not the best one for it, because probably the best one is Triage, next one, which gives priority to a healing move. Now, this doesn't quite explain all of it. It gives priority to any move that will heal. So, obviously, you know, Moonlight, if it's, I don't know, Moonlight gets it, you know, whatever. Synthesis, it will be able to prioritize. And also Draining Kiss, which is a move that heals as well as doing damage. Which So basically it prioritises any move that can heal, so it's pretty powerful. The Hidden Ability is also pretty good too though, which is Natural Cure, which you know cures any status conditions when it switches out, which is pretty good. Because being a defensive Pokemon, if it gets toxic, well that's not a great thing for it to happen to it. But it can switch out and it naturally cures it, and it's pretty good there. Looking at its typing though, we have, being a pure fairy type, 3 resistances in fighting bug and dark, 2 weaknesses in poison and steel, the immunity to the dragon type, and then the rest of the types obviously taking neutral. So it's not a bad typing, it's pure fairy, so it's pretty decent, um, obviously it's poison and steel weaknesses, which are, are not amazingly common, but fairly common nowadays, but that nice dragon immunity allows it to of course switch into any outrages going on, and of course dragon is just generally a powerful type, so it can switch into that and check those easily. Move-wise, for Comfy, there's a few moves we look at here, mainly level up and TMs. The first is at level 4, uh, which is Leech Seed. Obviously, it's only a 90% accuracy, but Leech Seed is pretty good because you seed the opponent and you gain health points back every turn, combine that with the leftovers, and it's pretty pretty damn drastic. You know, you get a lot of health points back very quickly. Definitely good for when you for if you're running a defensive set. Then we have level 7, Draining Kiss. Uh, as I mentioned, this gets priority thanks to Triage, so it's only a base power 50 move, does get stab on it though, and of course you do, do get some healing from it, it's nothing you know, amazing, but as we saw, it's more of a defensive or a supportive Pokemon, so you're not looking to do loads of damage with Comfy, so you know, it's better, possibly better to run Draining Kiss rather than a very powerful fairy type move like Moonblast, if it were to get it that is. Then we have two level up moves deft up, very sort of similar. We have Synthesis at level 28 and then Aromatherapy at level 43. Both grass types, both status. Synthesis obviously heals Comfy and of course with Triage we get priority on that. And then Aromatherapy heals the team of any status conditions. So of course it's very similar to a Natural Cure. Of course the Aromatherapy will do the same as Natural Cure except you have to switch out and just have to use a move. So if you're running Natural Cure, you could run Aromatherapy with it because of course it heals the rest of the team but you could think about you know, other options too. Then onto the TM, the first is TM4 Calm Mind, because being a special attacker and being defensive, you can run a Calm Mind set on here if you want, as we'll look at in a minute, because why not? Boost your special attack, boost your special defense, you're bulky and you start doing more damage. Pretty good, sounds sounds like pretty good to me, you know? Then we have another one, of course, TM06 Toxic, pretty good, you know, if you're playing defensive, Toxic is always a good way to weaken the opponent down. Only 90% accuracy, because of course, it's not a poison type, but still very well worth taking. Then we have TM12 Taunt, which of course 
Status move prevents the opponent from using supporting moves against you, so they can't set up on you, for example. Because uh, Confi is not necessarily amazing setup bait, but of course it can't really do any damage. So if someone could come in with a poison type thing, I'm going to swords dance a few times, whack him out, and then I'll just go through the rest of the team. But Taunt will stop that in its tracks. Two moves left, both attacking. The first is TM89 U turn, is a physical move, and of course, as we mentioned, we're not really a physical attacker, but the, the pivot on U turn is pretty good still, so it's definitely an option to think about running. And then we have TM99 Dazzling Gleam, so it's an alternative to Draining Kiss if you want a bit more power, because of course, there's no healing from it, so you won't get priority on it if you're using Triage, but Dazzling Gleam still does decent damage, and of course, if you're just looking for a general coverage move, definitely worth you know thinking about taking. So what could we use for Comfy? Well, if I have sort of two, the first is a Calm Mindset, so actually if you want to use Comfy to attack the opponent, and the second one is sort of pure supportive. So move set for the first one, of course, is going to start off with Calm Mind, then we have Draining Kiss or Dazzling Gleam, Synthesis, and then Taunt or Aromatherapy. Ability is Triage in this sense, nature being a bold one, held item can be leftovers, Big Root or Life Orb, as we'll talk about in a minute, and the EVs we're going for maximum health points in defense here, with the last few in special defense. So we have Calm Mind, of course, it's going to raise our special attack and our special defense. This goes in sort of hand in hand with bold nature and the defense EVs because that's already pretty high in physical defense so we can calm mind up that's going to shore up our special defense and make sure we're pretty good you know pretty good pretty good you know defensive all ground of course the special attack boosts are also pretty good because it means your draining kiss or your dazzling is going to start doing more and more damage nothing is immune to it yes okay some things do resist it but you can counter it pretty well so Draining Kiss or Dazzling Gleam is your choice here. Draining Kiss will get priority with Triage, but it's a lot less powerful than Dazzling Gleam, for example. But you also heal from it, so if you're using a Draining Kiss, you can think of running Big big Root, cuz, cuz, because Draining Kiss, Big Root. Well, Big Root doesn't increase the power of, but it increases the health points restored by a healing move. So for example, Draining Kiss will restore 30% more health points than it would have before. Now this is good because you can give a Draining Kiss Get big rooted on it, and this actually restores more health points than leftovers would in one turn. Of course, unless you know, get like against like a Salazzle or something, I don't know. So it's pretty good in that sense. Uh, you can definitely think about running it if you're running Draining Kiss. If you're running Dazzling Gleam, of course, leftovers is the way to go. Unless, of course, you want to go for a more for an offensive set, which give a life orb. Leftovers or life orb is your basically full out focusing on special defense or focusing on special attack. The last two options, we have Synthesis, obviously to make our main healing move, that's why we have Triage, because that gives us priority, uh, priority Synthesis, rather, which restores a good amount of health points. And then Taunt or Aromatherapy is up to you here. Taunt will, of course, allow you to stop people setting up on you, whereas Aromatherapy will allow you to cure yourself of any toxic if it comes along. So um, it's sort of a 50-50 there, which, whichever one you go for, you're going to have some sort of weakness, but you can counter against at least one. Yeah, that's really all it is for that set, really, you know. Held item, you of course have Big Root if you're running Drain Kiss if you want to, or Leftovers or Life Orb for the defensive or offensive options there. So I'm going to move on to the second set, which as I mentioned is sort of a pure supportive set. The move set is going to start off with Leech Seed, then we have Taunt, then we have an option of Toxic, Aromatherapy or Synthesis, and then we have U-Turn. Ability is Natural Cure this time. Nature is a jolly one, which sounds really weird to say. And the Held Item is Leftovers. We have, of course, maximum health points, EVs, and maximum speed EVs with a few more in defense. So, of course, we're not running Triage this time, hence why we have some good speed EVs to allow us to get in there with early Taunts and early Leech Seeds, as well as early Toxics, possibly. Um, and obviously, that's chosen over Triage because we want to be overall good supportive as opposed to just being good at healing. Because taunting and getting the taunt off first before other Pokemon is definitely good. There's no point taunting someone if they manage to get a poison jet or you know, get a um, stealth rock up because then they've just used their stealth rock so they can just go ahead and attack you. So, you know, why not? So, that's the reason you want to be faster here. Leech Seed is the idea you set leeches up and then you switch out to another Pokemon and that Pokemon benefits from the Leech Seed as well as you. Of course, you do benefit from yourself too. It boosts up the leftovers, but of course, the, that's the idea. You lead seed and then you can U turn into a different Pokemon to actually get the effects on that. Taunt is there, as I mentioned, to stop people setting up on your stealth rock or whatever. Uh, and then the choice of toxic aromatherapy or synthesis is up to you in this case. Toxic will allow you to actually deal some damage to the opponent. Aromatherapy will allow you to heal the rest of your team, so you'll act as like a team healer. Whereas synthesis will allow you to help you keep yourself alive basically uh, if you're looking for comfy to be like this this 
omnipresent, om omnipotent, ever-present being throughout your battle, synthesis is the way to go. If you just want it to be something you can switch in, aromatherapy, maybe leech seed and then you turn out, that's what you want to go for there, to heal the team every now and again. So like I said, we're uh, an overall always there to leech seed and, and taunt, for example, or there just to heal every now and again. Um, and it's up to you in that case. U-turn is, is the move we have here, this allows us to pivot easier because of our good speed, we can U-turn out quickly. You can switch us out for Draining Kiss or Dazzling Gleam if you want to, in which case you would run a Timid Nature rather than Jolly, um, but it's up to you in this case, it depends what you're running. And yeah, uh, there's not a huge amount to say there, it's sort of, as I mentioned, a supportive set, setting up Leech Seed for your allies if you can, and then uh, using yourself to Aromatherapy if your team also needs it, or U-turn, you know, or Toxic if you need to as well, and cripple the opponent basically. So that is going to be it for Comfy today, I'm not going to go too much in, more in depth, but of course do not forget to vote for next episode's Pokemon, we have a battle between Tapu Coco and Tapu Lele, so let me know which one you want to see covered next episode by commenting either Coco or Lele down below. But for now, this is going to be it for me for today, so I should be seeing you next time, thank you for watching, goodbye my friends.